thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoop videos. A lot of people are excited for the new Coming to America movie. This is a sequel to the original, which came out 32 years ago in 1988. And I think this is the greatest comedy movie of all time. I've seen the original movie over a hundred times. And it's one of those movies where no matter how many times you see it, you're gonna laugh every time you watch the movie. And that's the essence of a great comedy movie. So I'm glad to see that they finally made a sequel. There's some people that say they took too long, but I'm just glad to see that most of the cast members are returning for the sequel. But unfortunately, the only cast member that won't be returning for the sequel is Madge Sinclair. She's a Jamaican actress who passed away in 1995. And she's known for playing the role of Queen Samunda. And she was a beautiful actress. She was famous for the role in Roots, the original Roots series that came out in 1977. This was the highest grossing, highest viewed miniseries in the history of television at the time that it came out. And even though she didn't have a big role in Coming to America, she's one of the most remembered characters. And her essence, her grace, she was always a great actress. And I, I loved her accent. She had a beautiful accent. I'm not sure what to call you. My name's Cleo. It is very nice to meet you, Cleo. My name is Aeolion. 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 In addition to her role in Roots, she also played Simba's mother in the original Lion King, which came out in 1994. When this movie came out in 94, it became the highest grossing animation movie in history by making $430 million. So her and James Earl Jones worked together in several movie and television productions. They worked together great. They had great chemistry together. Madge Sinclair also starred on a TV show, Trapper John M.D. She was on this TV show from 1980 to 1986. And what's amazing about Madge Sinclair is that she had leukemia all throughout the 80s and 90s. She was diagnosed with leukemia in 1982. And while suffering from this disease, she played in all these acting roles, all these productions, while suffering from leukemia. That just goes to show how courageous she was, how brave she was to do, to accomplish everything she accomplished while suffering from this painful disease. Leukemia is a very painful disease. If you ever met anybody that suffered from it, you, you understand how painful this disease is. For her to put in all this work and accomplish everything she accomplished while suffering from this disease, it goes to show how brave she was. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate and subscribe. Turn on your notifications for future videos.